Hello, good morning to all. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Very good. So today we will yes. see a new topic in psychiatric nursing, childhood and adolescent disorders, including mental deficiency. So I know that this topic you might have studied in pediatric, whether this topic over or not in pediatric. ये वाला टॉपिक हो गया नहीं हो गया पीरियटिक में कैन एनीवन से दिस टॉपिक इज ओवर नहीं सर हुआ नहीं है नहीं सर हुआ नहीं ना ओके सो इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू इफ यू लिसन इफ यू लिसन दिस टॉपिक इन पीरियटिक यू नो नीड टू स्टडी अगेन सो लेट अस सी दिस टॉपिक नाउ यू नो दैट we are going to discuss in today actually child psychiatric there are lot of problems related to mental health problems many mental health problems are related to children there are more but the main thing is mental retardation mental retardation is the main mental health problem which affects the children particularly infant period okay so now let's see mental retardation mental retardation is not a disease it is a condition it is not a disease this is matlab kya condition matlab kya condition means day to day it will be present like uh, disease means when we take treatment it will cure it will be get normal but mental retardation will not get normal it will be present throughout their life that's why it is called it is a condition it is not a disease so how we can define mental retardation we can define mental retardation in a uh, very simple definition usually it comes before 18 years of age that is the diagnosis is done before 18 years of age but it is present from the birth okay usually we are finding mental retardation at the time of infancy period or sometimes with the help of some genetic testing we can find before birth also so it is a condition in which the general intellectual functions is not adequate for the child the child also does not have adequate skills to perform their day to day life activities for daily living for example we know how to wear the dress we know how to do combing makeup but these children they don't know how to do these things their hand movements are not developed properly okay they cannot think properly like in normal way okay. now let's see the uh, what is the formula how to calculate the iq so mental retardation basically we can say children's below iq level 70 so iq level formula that is mental age divided by physical age into 100 so this is the formula for iq that is mental age upon physical age into 100 so average iq level is 100 average iq level is 100 so if a person if a person iq level is below 70 then we can say that child is mentally retarded the child is mentally retarded okay next thing we will see the so you want to ask me sir how we can uh, assess the mental age so you can see here uh, what you can uh, in the different in the formula mental age divided by physical age so this physical age you know what is your actual age at present so what is mental age how we can calculate the mental age mental age is calculated with the help of a rating scale it is a standardized rating scale that is called wise versus adult intelligence scale okay versus adult intelligence scale general intellectual functioning is determined by administering a standardized intelligence test this test was developed by versler is a psychologist in the first year you might have studied about wise wise versus versler's intelligence scale scale for children and this is the Uh, scale mainly uh, this is the scale which we are used for uh, adult in the adult okay so this scale 
when we use we can identify the person's uh, actual mental age the next thing so you must know what two types of behavior in psychiatric one is adaptive behavior another one is maladaptive behavior the adaptive behavior how we define it is a degree with which individual meets the standards of personal independence whether you can live independently if you are not able to live independently in this world you are maladaptive person and also you do you obey all the social responsibilities do you follow all the social responsibilities if you do all the things then you are a adaptive person if you not following the social responsibilities you have maladaptive behavior expected of his age and cultural group for example in first year you might be not much mature now you became third year now you are going to become final year you are still mature okay so if you are not mature to that age that maybe that is called uh, what we can say that is uh, maladaptive behavior okay so keeping this mind then we will go to the epidemiology of mental retardation 3% of general populations are suffered by mental retardation all over the world in india for every 1000 children five children is affected with mental retardation so in the gender girls less affected boys are affected much mortality rate is high in severe and profound mental retardation so when we classify the mental retardation simple mental retardation so we can classify as mild moderate severe profound so in the last two severe stages like uh, severe and profound category death rate is high in mentally retarded children okay so this is about epidemiology so now this is the classification you must know uh, this is the classification of mental retardation so uh, mental retardation basically classified into different types like mild mental retardation uh, we have moderate mental retardation uh, we have severe mental retardation and profound mental retardation mental retardation basically classified like this so in mild mental retardation iq level is so iq level 50 say 69 tak hai so basically iq level below 70 is called mental retardation agar aapka iq level 50 say 69 tak hua they can say they are mild mental retardation category mein hai so large group of mental retardation people in the world coming under mild mental retardation about 85 percentage of the cases who are having mental retardation comes under mild mental retardation category they have the iq level 50 say 69 tak okay so what is the another name for mild mental retardation they are called as educable okay they are called as educable so mild mental retardation people are called as educable as said so the, uh, why why we are saying educable educable means like we can easily educate them when you educate them they easily learn they usually adapt by learning they know how to communicate they know how to behave in the society they develop motor skill during the pre school years pre school years matlab like before going to school when you teach them they can able to understand and they can able to do the normal thing okay and uh, uh, like second one uh, important thing is in the late teens can acquire academic skill so this mild mental retardation they can able to study up to 6th grade 6th grade matlab up to 6th standard they can able to study after 6th standard after 6th standard they cannot study so up to 6th standard the syllabus they can able to study so this is about mild mental retardation so mild mental retardation ki andar dusra thing they achieve the social and vocational skills so social skill you know like uh, communicating with others respecting others okay vocational skills kya occupational skills they can do some small small works like uh, they can clean the table they can take one thing and they can keep that thing in another place like that they can do it okay these things you must keep in mind next one is 
uh, they can usually learn to live independently or in supervised settings already i told you they are coming at a educable so educable means what we can say these people can be able to uh, uh, live independently if there is some supervision okay next one is moderate mental retardation this is the people is to iq level 35 say 49 if your iq level is between 35 to 49 they are comes under this category called moral moderate mental retardation ye thoda severe hai mild se upar hai that is moderate mental retardation so about 10 percentage of the mental retardation people comes under moderate mental retardation 85 percentage people comes under the mild mental retardation whereas uh, in the moderate mental retardation uh, we are having 10 percentage of the people and uh, mild mental retardation people we call them as educable the moderate mental retardation people we call as trainable uh, why we are calling them trainable means like when you give them training see education is just a teaching one time training means when you ask them to repeatedly do something they easily follow that so training is somewhat um, higher than education so when you uh, give the task for them to do again and again they get the skills they easily learn communication skill and uh, they can get benefit from vocational training who can give vocational training occupational therapist can give vocational training okay and uh, for them they need moderate supervision they need moderate supervision to attend the personal care personal care like bathing toileting like uh, activities like brushing uh, doing makeup doing dressing grooming for these activities what they need they need moderate supervision okay unlikely this they they can they can able to study up to second grade in academic subject they can able to study up to second standard class okay so next one is we are going to see the the next level in the moderate mental retardation other things like they learn to travel independently to familiar places those place they know very easily like uh, going to the shop nearby the house they can go easily come uh, they can go to the temple which they have gone already they can do these activities they can do very easily and uh, difficult they have difficulty in social skills like uh, like uh, communicating with others uh, writing the letter like nowadays we are social skills what we are chatting so these things they cannot do they cannot maintain eye to eye contact okay and they cannot maintain the peer relationship so in ki age mein koi normal bachche hai inke saath they cannot maintain the good relationship okay as adults what they can do like uh, as when they become adults they can perform unskilled or semi skilled work under supervision when they become adult uh, after 18 years they can do some kind of activity unskilled activities unskilled activities means those activity which does not need training they can do it under supervision they can able to live in the community usually with supervision in the community when they go for any religious places when they go for any shop they need to be supervised supervised can be done by their parents okay they can be done by parents so this is about moderate mental retardation next we are going to see uh, severe mental retardation the iq level will be 20 to 34 and uh, usually they will have uh, three to four percentage of the total MR population. Total MR population may three to four percentage hai. and they don't know to speak. They they have little or no communicative speech. They don't they they don't know to express their um, emotions verbally. They cannot ask the needs verbally. If they want food, they cannot ask that food to the mother by speaking. During school age period, what they will have, they will have, uh, that is, they may learn to talk and they can 
they can be able to teach up to elementary self care skills elementary self care skill like drinking pani eating food only these skills we can teach for them jada kaam inko hum seekh nahi sakta okay unlike the, to progress beyond pre academy they cannot uh, study even lkg ukg syllabus they cannot able to study even they cannot recognize the letter they cannot recognize the letters like uh, <coughs> simple counting 1 2 3 4 these also they cannot uh, count okay and uh, sometimes they <coughs> master some survival sight words survival sight words matlab like uh, directions like uh, like this this they can able to do like sight words like if you ask how where uh, where i want to go to meet that person they can say go like that go like this they can show their uh, hand by movement signals they can able to speak okay, but they cannot speak if you ask who is the person who is your mother they cannot tell the mother me they can just to show ye mera mother hai like that they can able to point out and tell okay the next thing is about severe mental retardation uh, you must uh, that is most adapt well to the life in the community group they uh, like when they live with the family members they can adjust when nobody is there they uh, like for example we are living akele in the hostel without our parents like that these people <coughs> cannot live without the supervision okay <coughs> profound mental retardation iq level 20 ka below hai and uh, what is the main thing is the 1 to 2 percentage of the mental retardation population <coughs> comes under profound mental retardation these individuals have a neurological condition so these people have neurological condition kya hai like seizure they may have epilepsy problem also along with mental retardation this is very severe and uh, profound mental retardation people easily die and they consist they have some impairments in the early childhood <coughs> sensory motor functioning sensory motor functioning matlab they cannot hear they are deaf they are dumb they cannot speech so like that sensory motor problems also present and uh, they have optimal development may occur in high structured environment so when you give complete technology like for them like when you give some devices then they can able to uh, acquire some kind of knowledge some kind of skills like if they not hear properly what device you can give you can give them <coughs> audi audi free that is ear implant you can give if they cannot walk you can give them uh, leg brace you can you know, give them wheelchair you can ask them to like for example if they are uh, blind what you can do you can give them braille uh, you can teach them braille with the braille board they can touch and they can understand what you want to communicate okay so these things you must you must keep in mind in the profound mental retardation the next thing is uh, the next thing we want to know about this they they have poor motor development and the self care and communication skill may improve if appropriate training is given so they 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 cannot be given treatment in the home you want to admit them in the mr home mental retardation home and uh, you want to give them treatment so then only they can able to survive in the home condition in the home environment the survival rate is very very less so this is about profound mental retardation now let's see the causes of mental retardation causes we want to divide into three uh, like based on the time of onset like prenatal or biological causes that is the causes before birth of the child that is with the antenatal period in the prenatal or biological cause and next one is perinatal during the time of birth during the time of delivery sometimes any injury happens to the baby's head during the time of delivery mental retardation the child can become mentally retarded and the next one is that uh, postnatal cause the postnatal cause is